So the problem with refined carbs is they have horrible satiety per calorie. And so yeah. if you eat a bunch of refined carbs, you're starving three hours later. You didn't get protein. You didn't get minerals. You didn't get all these things you need. And they have a really high caloric density. So like your breakfast cereal, um, your blood sugar goes way up. Three hours later, it goes way down. You're, you're hypoglycemic. You're starving. You're eating more. But refined fat is really not much better. Now, the thing that's better about refined fat is you won't get the glycemic excursion and then the fall that makes you feel hypoglycemic three hours later. So you're just kind of like this, but you're just passively getting fatter and you got no satiety at all. So refined carbs are really terrible for satiety yeah. per calorie, but refined fat is pretty bad too. The problem is when you have kidney damage, you spill protein in your urine. And so doctors will use the amount of protein in your urine to see how bad your kidney damage is. And then also if you eat a lot of protein, you can have more protein in your urine, even though it's not harming your kidneys. So somehow doctors got to this point where we're like, uh, protein gives you protein in your urine, kidney damage gives you protein in your urine, protein gives you kidney damage. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it, but it's completely fraudulently wrong. Now we have a, a meta-analysis that shows that higher protein diets are actually protective oh. against kidney damage. They're awesome for your kidneys. Awesome. If you, if you eat tons of protein, your kidney literally gets larger and stronger and your glomerular filtration rate goes up. It's like a bodybuilder doing curls all day long. It's like your bicep gets bigger. Right, right, right. And yes, in blood urea nitrogen will always go up on higher protein diets, but it's not harming you at all. And so some doctors are like, ooh, that could be bad. But yeah, it's just completely not evidence-based. So there is no evidence that high protein diets harm your kidneys at all. And then to take it one step further, like most nephrologists will recommend some amount of protein restriction for people who have known existing kidney damage. And even that's not evidence-based. So the vast majority of people with bad kidneys don't benefit from protein restriction. We have these um, huge meta-analyses on protein restriction in the setting of chronic kidney disease. And like only, you know, 5% of chronic kidney disease, if you have this rare primary glomerular nephritis, like the primary glomerular disease, which is super rare, um, protein restriction maybe helps it a little bit, but only in men and not in women. And it was like 1%. And the studies that showed this were deeply flawed. And then we have just a mountain of other evidence in people who have the more common kinds of kidney failure, diabetes and high blood pressure. None of these people have ever been shown to benefit from protein restriction at all. So like if you have diabetes and diabetic nephropathy and your kidney functions, decrease, you actually don't benefit from protein restriction. And doctors are still recommending protein restriction, even though it's not evidence-based. So this is definitely a huge problem.